Hello friends and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. This video is going to be a little different. Um, I had one subscriber to ask me to share my nighttime skin routine and I put it off and put it off and put it off. But then I was asked or approached by Dr. Weaver who is, I'm going to explain to you and I have my notes here because I don't want to miss anything. Um, to try out and to review his skin mask, facial mask. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to show you what I normally do, and then I'm going to add Dr. Weaver's mask to my routine and give you a review of how it makes my skin feel, what the texture, you'll see all of that. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Weaver. Dr. Weaver is a board certified African-American dermatologist and he's based in Houston, Texas. He has been in derma, he's been delivering dermatology care since 1982. So coming up on 39 years this month here in August. He has served more than 150,000 patients and his company name is Seymour Weaver MD Skin Care. Now his skin care, his mask is, he says, is um, it's called the Touch Up Complexion Mask, and it's one of his new products, and it's made from all natural ingredients, and it's organic, and it's it's its goal is to improve the complexion. So. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to open it here. Okay. It came in this nicely packed box. I haven't used it yet. This will be my first time. And it's wrapped beautifully. It's so that it will not get damaged. Uh, comes with a little spatula to help you get it out of the container. I'm curious to see if it's like a clay mask or um, or if it's softer. Uh-oh. It's sealed, so I'm going to have to cut it off right back. So it's open. And it does have like a clay-like te texture, if you can see here. Mmm. It smells good, but it sort of smells medicinal, sort of like eucalyptus, maybe. I don't know if that's what I'm getting or not. Um, Seymour Weaver MD Skin Care Touch Up Complexion Mask. That's what the container looks like. So what I'm going to do first, however, is I'm going to go through my entire routine, um, my normal routine. Cause you know I'm an Avon girl. So I'm gonna show you what I normally use and how I use it. And then I'll use Dr. Weaver, okay? So come on in and let's get started. So I have bragged and bragged, you guys know, I've talked about this thing forever and I love it. Um, it's my brush and I uh, actually, hauled it in one of my videos and I'll try and find it um, and leave the link below. But if I can't find that video, I'll leave a link so that you can find this. This brush is wonderful and it's easy on the pocket. So what I normally do is wet the brush first and then I add my new by Avon cleanser to the brush. And guys, some people wet their faces too. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. That's clearly up to you when you're using this a new cleanser. Uh, it's called a new clean, and it's a cream as you can see here. And you, I'll show you how it lathers up. But what I also add to this is just a little bit, and this is a new clinical, and it's a collagen booster. And you know, I'm a woman of a certain age. And when you get to a certain age, as you can see here, I smile a lot because I've got the smile lines. <laughs> but um, it, collagen is what may, helps you, you wrinkle or sag or whatever. And I'm 
kind of proud to say that at my age, I don't have very many wrinkles at all. But um, this is a collagen booster. So, and it's more like a scrub. So what I do, I'm going to show you, is I don't use very much of this at all. But I add it with my cleanser. And I just add, oh, that's more than I normally use. Just a tad, just to get that little grit in there to clean, cleanse the surface, renew dead, remove dead skin from the surface. This is not a deep clean, it's just a light, light scrub. I do this morning and night. And then you go, and this thing has six speeds, and you have to count because there are, there are no buttons here to show you what speed you're on. So I always count to six and put it on the highest and let it go to work. It feels so good. And those areas, if you have blackheads, or um, I give it a little, or where you're oily, I give that a little more attention. My T-zone is my oily zone. And I generally do my neck too with the scrub and the cleanser all the way down. And it feels so good to me. Sometimes I just stand here and massage while I clean my face. Yeah, that really feels good. Okay, and now, while this sits for a minute, I'm going to clean my brush. Hold on. Okay, so what I do is I rinse my brush really well. I dry it. And then... Before putting the cap on it, I rinse it again with rubbing alcohol. Sometimes if it's near, I'll use peroxide, but just so the brush is clean, then I put the cap on it. Now the cap has holes in it so that it's not sitting in there wet. It's air drying with the cap on, okay? And once I do that, then I rinse my face. Okay, so I'm going to sit you over here. And guys, let me tell you that if I were not videoing this, this is a 10 minute no more than 15, depending on how long I massage my face process. So don't think it's going to take you a very long time to do this because it doesn't. Okay. So my face is all clean. So what I'm going to do now is try our new mask. So let's see how this goes on. Oh, and by the way, I have a code for you that will be in my description box below if you would like to try this. Okay, it's, it's clay-like, but it's not too thick. Like I said, it smells medicinal, but it smells good. Spa-like, sort of like eucalyptus, like I said. And I'm using what was on the uh, the sealed the sealer. So it looks like it doesn't it doesn't take much of it at all. Feels good, guys. 
Whatever I do to my face, I try to remember to do to my neck as well. Okay? So I didn't use very much at all. I didn't use any from the container, and that's all I used from this. So I'm going to put this back. And put the top on. And I'm going to give this 15 minutes to see. I don't want to get it on my robe, but if it does, it'll wash out. 15 minutes to see what it feels like. And I'll be back. Okay. So, I let it sit for 15 minutes, but I was reading the instructions and they say 10 minutes. And it's cream based, so even though it has a little grit to it, it doesn't harden like other clay masks does and have you pulled all tight. Um, still feels good. So what I'm going to do now is rinse it. But I wanted to tell you guys before I do that, I have the key ingredients list here. So it has organic charcoal powder, organic aloe, organic sunflower seed oil, vitamin C. I love vitamin C, as you'll see in a bit. Um, organic Jehovah oil, Organic coconut oils, coconut, co I'm sorry, cocoa butter, clove and cayenne, and eucalyptus essential oil. I knew I smelled eucalyptus. Okay. Um, it deeply cleanses and gently exfoliates away impurities to reveal smoother skin. It brightens your skin. I know vitamin C does that as well. Um, but it says that the bamboo charcoal also brightens your skin to reduce the appearance of age spots, sun spots, hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, spirulina and kelp provide antioxidant protection to the skin. Clove and cayenne make the complexion look more radiant. The Jehovah and coconut oil and co cocoa butter and beeswax? I didn't know that was in there. It didn't say that. Leave the skin soft and supple. So now I'm going to rinse it off and let you have a close-up. Closer than this, I guess. I guess I can't get any closer. This is what the mask looks like. Rinse it off and let you take, have a close-up of my skin. And I'll let you know how it feels. And then I'll finish my regular night routine. And guys, generally a clay mask is really difficult to get off. This one doesn't feel that way. It's, I'm not, I can't see it because my eyes are closed, but it feels like it's coming right off. And it has a little gran granules in there, so it's, it's doing a light scrub. Which means that today at least, because I always use my a new little light scrub when I'm cleansing, my skin has gotten two light scrubs, but neither have been harsh enough to make my skin feel like it's too much. Okay. So my skin feels kind of tingly, which is always nice. And really, really clean. So this is what I ended up with here. You can see. Okay, and that was with the first use. I love the way it feels. 
I suppose I will see a difference as I use it. What I think I may do, since I'm only using this the first time, um, and I'm reviewing it the way it makes me feel today, but what I may do is come back and do an update in about 30 days and let you know how, if my skin has truly improved with using it maybe once a week. If you'd like for me to do that, leave it in the comments below and I'll come back and give you a 30 day update on this. But it feels great, soft, really, feels really, really clean too. So my next step is my toner. And I put my toner on a cotton ball. This is after cleansing, whether I mask or not. And you might do better looking at me in my mirror. Would that be better for you? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. So. And I use my toner twice a day, morning and night. If it's if I'm out in the heat, which I try not to be when it's feeling like 102 degrees outside. Um, it would be three times a day. Because, you know, your skin gets feels all cruddy when you sweat and stuff. Or if I'm working out, which I haven't done. I haven't been to my gym since the pandemic. Okay, so once that dries, I am an Avon Serum Girl. So I have, let me put my glasses on so I can tell you exactly. Aging is no fun. I need readers. So this is, of course, all of this is a new, all of this is Avon, but this is a new serum and it's a new power serum. This is the power serum and this is my standby. I, use, I have used this for years. If I put nothing else on my face, you know, we all have those busy days. If nothing else goes on my face, it's always my, my Avon vitamin C serum. It is the best. I absolutely love it. I use the entire Anu line. This is my vitamin C for under eye. I use this as well. And this is my Anu Ultimate Night Cream. And there's also a day cream to go with this. I'm turning it the wrong way. You're looking at me this way. To go with this as well. But Anu has several different, um, let's see, um, under the Anu umbrella, there are several pro product lines for different age groups and skin care um, issues and that kind of thing. Um, for my age group, I use the gold. I could either use the gold or the purple, but I like the texture of the gold. Um, and you can go out to my Avon site and read and or ask me any questions you may have to find out which one's best for you. Okay, so this is dry. Gosh, my face feels so clean, people. So it doesn't take much of either. So what I do is a drop of this in my hand, one pump. A drop of my vitamin C in my hand, one pump again. And it lasts a long time. Because I'm going to put them both on anyway. And they're serums, so they go on great like this. Now, everyone says you're supposed to pat serums in. But I like to know that it's going in. But I do that too. And let your skin absorb it naturally. And remember, everything I do to my face, I do to my neck. Okay. And then next... I do the under eye. And something else I've learned. The only finger that you should use to apply anything under your eye is your ring finger. It will give you the least resistance, which will not tug and add more lines. So it's the ring finger. 
a little tip for you there. Okay, and once the serums are all in, and guys, look at look at the texture of this. This is my night cream. Can you see that? That texture is so smooth. And it moisturizes, moisturizes without leaving your oily. Like I said, I have an oily T-zone. And so even with that, this works great. And it doesn't take much to cover. Now, because I'm doing this for you, I'm going to use my roller. But I am going to be totally transparent. I do not do this every day. But it feels good when you do, when you just, that puts all of your product, make sure it gets into your skin. It's chilled, so it feels good. Always go up and out, never down, because you don't want that, you want this. And it just helps the product to saturate. But again, total transparency. I do not do this every night. I do do it, however, whenever I give myself a facial, like we did today. really feels good. I should do it more often. I have the little one, and my set came with the big one, too. Yeah. This covers more space, but it, more area, but it does the same thing. And I ordered mine from Amazon a couple of years ago. Um, I can put this in the description below as well if you're interested it's by well, let me tell you visme vise me v-i-s-m-e -E. i'll show you the box because i keep them in the box a lot of people refrigerate theirs they really feel good when you do um let me show you this it comes with the box it comes with the cleaner to clean your roller to get the product off so you're starting fresh and it also comes with this. I haven't figured this one out yet. I haven't used this one much. The directions are still in my box too. But um, all of this came with the set, clean cloths and all. So I can see if I can find the links. Like I said, I ordered this a few years ago and leave it in the description box below for you. So guys, let me show you what we've used today for this evening. Okay. Hold on. So friends, this is everything we used today. Now all of it didn't go on our skin, like the alcohol here. We used it to clean the brushes on our facial scrubber. I used the Visme at the end to make sure all the products went into the skin. These two are new products here, both serums. We used the uh, toner, the vitamin C for under eye, the Anu, which is a new, a new vitamin C, the Anu Clinical Collagen Booster. We used along with the Anu Clean on the brush afterwards we used the sponsor of this video the Seymour Weaver MD skincare the touch-up complexion mask so far I'm liking the way my skin feels it's still tingly so I hope that's a good sign and we used the new ultimate night cream so that was what we used. And like I said, guys, this took 
um, long time because I was videoing for you. But normally this is like a 10 minute, if it's 10 minute process, you cleanse your skin. That's not, now, now that's not including a mask, a 15 minute mask. So I would say it's about 30 minutes if you do a 15 minute mask. So you do um, your cleanser, you do your, with your mask, then you put your mask on, you rinse your mask off, then you use your toner, and then you use your serums, and then you put your night cream on. It's just that simple. The alcohol is to make sure that the brushes on your skin scrubber stays clean, and the jade roller and ice roller. Um, I, like I said, total transparency, do not use every night, but I do try to use it every time I give myself um, a uh, facial. I am so far loving the Dr. Weaver Touch Up Complexion Mask. I want to thank him for collabing with me on this skincare video. And again, I'll say, if you're interested in knowing the long-term effects of this, um, just leave it in the comments below and I will uh, do a follow-up video to let you know like how it's gone. If you're interested, just let me know and I will do a follow-up video to um, let you know how it's worked, how it's, if it's made a big difference at all in my skincare regimen um, after 30 days. So let me know below if you're interested in that, okay? And that's it. That's it for my nighttime routine. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you will give the Avon products as well as the Dr. Weaver Touch Up Complexion Mask. I'm liking it so far. If you want to wait and you want me to give you an update, let me know and I'll do that. But so far, I'm liking it, liking it a lot. So that's it, guys. And I am out. Have a good evening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. the time and now it's too late I hate to feel the